Hi, in this video I'm going to talk about articulations on the tuba. Like all brass instruments, articulations on the tuba starts with the movement of your tongue. Unlike other brass instruments, however, the tuba requires a very light and low tongue. This is because the tuba needs maximum airflow to achieve the best tone and sound quality. When you articulate on brass instruments, typically it is associated with a sound or vowel such as te, t, tu, or to. For tuba, the vowel sound you want to make is do, d-o-h. Notice what happens when you say the word do. Notice how it creates an O shape in the back of your mouth and throat. Do, O. This is important because a relaxed and open throat will allow for the smoothest airflow and least amount of tension in your breathing. Also notice how saying do keeps your tongue down in your mouth. This is important because you want to keep your tongue out of the way to keep your airflow going. Also, a high tongue can create a nasally sound on your tone, which you always want to avoid. I'll try and demonstrate that now. So this is articulating with a do syllable. And this is articulating with a T syllable. Hopefully you heard how the sound kind of got closed off a bit and a bit more nasally. Here's with do again. And now with T. When you articulate with T, you're closing your throat and your oral cavity and bringing your tongue up in your mouth which again is causing that nasally sound we want to avoid. Now let's talk about airflow and how it relates to articulation. The key thing to always remember is your air never stops, your tongue just interrupts it. I like to think of this like water coming out of a garden hose. Imagine the steady stream of water coming out of the hose and what happens when you quickly cut your finger through that flow of that water. The slight interruption your finger makes in the flow of water is essentially what your tongue is doing in the flow of your air. You can visually practice this by holding a piece of paper in front of your face and articulating a wind pattern, making sure the paper does not fall back towards your face. If you do this properly, it shows how you're never truly stopping your air, just interrupting it slightly with your tongue. I'll demonstrate now. Notice how the paper stayed up in the air and didn't fall back. I'll try it again here. Now, if I was stopping the air completely with my tongue, it would look like this. That pulsing of the paper or letting the paper fall back is what you're trying to avoid because you always want to keep a steady stream of air going at all times. So to recap, always articulate using the syllables DO, keeping an open throat and mouth and a low tongue. Also, the air never stops, your tongue just interrupts it.